rise to perversion, which we all have struggled with that, including myself, in some parts of our, in some areas of our lives at times, in our lives, in seasons in our lives or whatever, we all are guilty of this on this earth, so, but, you know, Michael, you may not be struggling with perversion or lust or nothing like that as far as the major sins of that, as far as sexuality part of it or whatever. Or, but sometimes with the perps that come against you or other TIs and that come against me, they have that spirit of perversion because and lust in their souls, the lust of money, the lust of greed and power, you know, because that comes from the spirit of lust, like these perps go through that. And perversions of just doing evil and crookedness or sexuality with the human trafficking campaigns and the gang stocking program is connected to the human trafficking. So that's the spirit of perversion behind that. And that spirit of perversion operate through the perpetrator bully. So, and through the Satanists and the witches and all that. Connected to the spirit of Jezebel. So, I'm going to pray this prayer for you, Michael. You know, passage and not necessarily not saying that you may have that issue with lust or perversion not that you never went through it in your life that spirit or tackle with that spirit but I'm going to pray it for you and I'm going to pray it in a way also connected to the gain stocking program operating through the perps that come against you or whatever as the Holy Spirit is leading me how to word this my child, I thank you, Father God, that Michael Barden have, Father God, my, as your child, that you have given Michael Barden as your child, Father God. And I don't know if Michael Barden is your child or not, or will become your child, but I'm going to say it by faith, according to what this says. And I dare to believe that he is your child or will become your child. I just want to believe for the best in that. Michael Barden is your child, that you have given Michael Barden the gift of your Holy Spirit, Father God, who is powerful and strong, who will save Michael Barden from the curse of lust and perversion that has affected the generations in his family, generations on the earth with whom we dwell on this earth, Father God, including I. Father God, I... Thank you that Michael Barton must trust the Holy Spirit, your Holy Spirit, to give him the power to release himself from the spirits of lust and perversion in any area of his life, Father God, that he might, if he's suffering from any of these type of spirits, or surrounded by people in his neighborhood. That's The perps are definitely have that spirit of lust and perversion in them in various ways. So, Father God as well. So I'm praying in every angle. Of, you know, in Michael's life, if he's struggling with that and in the lives of people that that surrounded by him in this program that struggle with that, because a lot of times, Father God, that the perps will send lustful spirit to people upon him in relationships or people that's full of the spirit of perversion, greed, selfishness, mammon demons, Father God, sexuality demons, or Jezebel lustful demons, or perversion devils of doing crookedness and dirtiness and craftiness and perversions of freaky stuff or whatever. But I pray that you will protect Michael Barden from the God from spirit to people that's full of the spirit of lust and perversion and perps that's full of the spirit of lust and perversion to protect him from any entrapments of that or trying to in, hook them up in the, another slavery program that's hooked up with a worse spirit of lust or perversion by the God to try to get him into sin or perversion or lust or whatever because they like the target the perps like the target all TIs with that kind of stuff to get them to sin and perversion or lust or put perverted spirit to people, lustful spirit to people to get them to lust and be perverted and do evil stuff like that. So I pray that you protect Michael Barton and all TIs from that. Lust spirit to people and perversion spirit to people and the perversions and lust spirits connected to this covert gain stocking program that's full of the perps. The perps are full of the spirit of lust, of power and control and domination and money and mammon and greed and selfishness and conventionists and stuff and perversions of sexuality and freakiness and 
and homosexuality and crookedness and deviousness and and dirtiness or whatever, Father God. So I ask, Father God, that Michael that you Michael will keep his heart with all diligence, Father God, for out of it spring the issues of life. I ask that you will that Michael will let perverse lips be far from him. Michael Barton will let perverse lips be far from him. Not, he don't come across like he's perverted. So, Father God, I know he cusses just like I do sometimes when we get angry. And so, Father God, that you'll deliver him from any profanity spirits like that. But I don't think he's perverted in his tongue in other ways because he don't come across like that to me in the videos. But you know more about Michael Martin than I do, Father God, behind closed doors. So I, whatever perverse lips that he may have, as far as the profanity I can see, that Michael Martin will let perverse lips be far from him, whatever that may be in his life. I don't know if he has that issue, Father God. And that Michael Martin will let his eyes look straight ahead, straight ahead of your kingdom and your righteousness and straight ahead of which you your path that you have for him in righteousness I must say I'm adding that a little bit but it says straight ahead just in the passage that Michael Barton will ponder the ponder the path of his feet that Michael Barton will ponder the path of his feet and let all his ways be established Father God Especially established in the ways of your righteousness and your kingdom way of doing things. Father God, that Michael Barton will not turn to the right or to the left. And Michael Barton will keep his foot removed from evil. And I thank you, Father God, for keeping him from people that's trying to turn him into evil. Father God, especially perp entrapments in the in this covert gain stocking program. Because they like to do that to all TIs that's living right. And that's pure hearted, trying to get them to trapped up in sin or something or perversion, Father God, and make and make it seem like, oh, it's true that these lies that we said about the TIs so they can even laugh even more. But I pray that you would destroy that plan and that trick of the enemy coming against Michael Barton's life to try to entrap him in sin or perversion or lust or or any type of sin or temptation, Father God, in Jesus Christ, temptation in Jesus Christ's name. That he will not be turned to that, that an evil people that's trying to turn him up and trip him up in his in his walk of righteousness. You know that Michael Barton will not turn to the right or to the left. That Michael Barton will keep his foot removed from evil, and that you including remove from evil relationships, to evil interactions, evil places, evil. Connections, evil businesses, evil anything, Father God, in Jesus Christ's name. Thank you for Philippians 2.15, Proverbs 4, verses 23 to 27 is done in Michael Barton's life. In Jesus Christ's name, Father God. So now I'm going to pray prayers for declaration over Michael Barton in the same page April the 12th today Holy Spirit I ask that you will fill Michael Barton with the power to set himself free from all lust and perversion if he's suffering from that in his own personal life and if he's not suffering from that in his own personal life that you will set him free from people that he's surrounded by in his neighborhood Father God from that's full of the spirit of lust and perversion their lives are full of the spirit that you will keep him from from those those type of people, Father God, and entrapments, Father God, in Jesus Christ's name and relationships that's full of lust and perversion. You know, not that he want to get in lustful relationships, Father God, but anyway, I thank you, Father God, that Michael Barton will no longer live under the curse of perverse heart. Father God, are perverse hearted people and commit to you and he will commit, Michael Barton will commit to you today and to keep his lips free from perversion and his eyes looking straight at you, Father God. Then Michael Barton will let all his ways be established in righteousness and continue giving 
Michael Barton the strength to remove his feet from all evil even all evil that the devil try to tempt him in Father God and Jesus Christ connected to this covert gain stocking program connected to any perpetrators that try to trip him up or anyone sent by the devil trying to trip him up in sin or whatever in Jesus Christ's name that you will protect him from all of that and perverted spirit to people and lust spirit to people and crooked spirit to people or dirty devious people in Jesus Christ's name Father God people that's full of the lust of power and greed and selfishness and control and money and mammon and and sex or whatever food and and empowered and to control somebody and dominate somebody that you will protect Michael Barton from those type of people that's full of those type of spirits evil spirits in Jesus Christ's name and so he won't be polluted with those type of spirits from attaching themselves to him in Jesus Christ's name and I understand I don't that Michael Barton doesn't desire to hang around evil people anyway so and I'm just praying that you will protect him from those type of people because sometimes the devil likes to force those kind of people in the lives of T.I.s in a very sneaky way or very dirty way or whatever. So anyway, Father God, I thank you that this prayer is done in Michael Barton's life. And now I'm going to do April the 13th. I have loose you from satanic and demonic conspiracies. Oh, I love that one. It's so beautiful. How can you? My child, remember my great goodness, which I have laid up for those who fear me. If you will keep your trust in me, my goodness will be yours in the presence of the sons of men. So you can help your friend. It's a moment. I'm going to hold my page down. I will hide you in the secret place of my presence and will keep you hidden from the evil plots of wicked men. You will be loose from any evil demonic conspiracy what the enemy has plotted against you. I have hidden you from the secret plots and from the rebellion of the workers of iniquity who sharpen their tongues like swords and bend their bows to not to shoot arrows of bitter words at the blameless. I have preserved your life from the fear of the enemy's secret plots. Psalm 31, 19 through 20 and Psalm 64, 2 through 4. So Father, I thank you for that most wonderful pr promises of your word in these scriptures and in this passage. And Father, I thank you that you have loosed Michael Barton from satanic and demonic conspiracies that come against him through this covert gain stocking program in his life too, Father, in Jesus Christ's name. Father God, I thank you that Michael Barton, that as your child, Father God, that you remember that Michael Barton remembers your great goodness that you have toward him. And thank you for your great goodness toward Michael Barton, Father God. That you have laid up, Heavenly Father, for those who fear you. And I thank you that you have laid up your great goodness for Michael Barton as he fears you, Father God. If Michael Barton will keep your trust, if Michael Barton will keep his trust in you, Lord, if Michael Barton will keep his trust in you, Heavenly Father, your goodness will be Michael Barton's in the presence of the sons of men. That you, Heavenly Father, will hide Michael Barton in the secret place of your presence and will keep Michael Barton hidden from the evil plots of wicked men. Father, you will... I thank you that Michael, not you, but Michael Barton will be loose from any evil demonic conspiracies that the enemy, which is the devil, has plotted against Michael Barton. I thank you, Father God, that you have hidden Michael Barton from their secret plots, from the secret plots of these perpetrators that come against him, and from the rebellion of the workers of iniquity who sharpen their tongues like swords and bend their bows to shoot arrows of bitter words at Michael Barton as being blameless Father God I thank you Father God that you have preserved 
Michael Barton's life from the fear of the enemy's secret plots. Connected to this covert gain stocking program that Michael Barton's is facing and